Hi guys, this is the Lezine uh, micro floor drive high pressure gauge pump and um, I just ordered it so it came in a little bag like this so to unwrap it, there we are um, the reason I got it is because it's very compact and very neat and it comes with a little bracket holder here and it's got tape to keep it on so that attaches underneath your bottle cage and then with the tape it ensures that it just doesn't fall off when you're cycling so it can either go you know depending on where your bottle cage is and it's got a little tube it's got the and this is the high pressure one you also get a high volume one and um, I've got a touring and a road bike that's got high, quite a high pressure in them so I went for this one if you've got really big tires you'd be better getting the high volume one um, the high volume one is just the same, I think, from what I, I researched, and just a bit thicker, so it's got my air going in and out of it. This one goes up to 160 psi, and the other one I think is 90, so depending on what you're using. But description at the top, um, aluminium, machine, air bleed system, threaded connection, and so on. So yeah, very straightforward, so a couple of cable ties, um, and then there, the, the strap. So if I undo the strap... A good, seems like a good velcro and then it should just come undone and then I'm just gonna um, need to get two seconds so here we are I've just taken off cut the cable ties so I don't need that that's uh, it does oop, it does come with a, a different set of valves it's got a kind of football valve and then one of these long ones that are depending on what you're using for big like blow up balls or some air mattresses or gymnast balls sometimes take these so yeah, and there's a 90 degrees bend as well. And here it is. So it screws on the bottom um, to stop the pipe flapping about. So if you unscrew that, then there we are. So yeah, it's got a little foot for there, so you can stand on it to pump. And then very simple, it just it, it, Pretty much extends the entire length of this there's quite a lot of air and then that is the end connection here and i think you should be able to unscrew this and there's got both the shredder and the press the valve on there and it's if you turn so you just turn it on to wherever you want to pump up the tire so yeah one side second side and it just sits on there so very straightforward Lightweight, small, which is the reason I wanted it. Um, so that would go on my touring bike and my bike packing bike. And although I did think this might be a, a weak point because there's just more connections where the air could escape. When I ordered this, it was the same price as the one without. I thought, well, I might as well go with it. How good it is, I don't know. I need to test it. Um, but it is a weak point, and also this is all flexible point isn't so you know you there's a danger of a crack forming there so it is actually a weak point and overall in the tube um but yeah I'm, I'm impressed so far and it actually rotates here as well so there's no um you've got a bit more room compared to where the bike is you know you don't it's not just stuff that's great. so it's there's a lot of give in it and because it's a flexible horse you can just connect it and then you can move that away a distance where you want to go and then you've got enough room to to pump and having a little foothold there just means that it's a bit faster, isn't it, when you can put your foot on it. Um, it does bend back quite a lot, so when you put your foot on it, it does, which is a bit frustrating. It would have been better if it's just flat, 90 degrees. But I guess the ground is not always, but I get, if you do hold, if you step on there, it does hold it down. So, yeah, it's impressed so far. Um, and we'll see how, how it goes when I use it. And it's got the little button there for the air pressure valve um, by air bleed system you just press that and then the air comes back out you do have to make sure when you unscrew it that you don't hit this button because the air will just start coming out but um, yeah so it's got a turning point there so you can turn it without unscrewing it you have to hold the black bit to unscrew the orange the orange bit is the, the valve which you get the two, two sides to it so yeah once I've used it a few times and I'll uh, let you guys know how it goes but for now this is it um i'm gonna not show you which bike to touch it to which is one frustrating thing i'm gonna have to get a second uh 
bracket because one thing I don't like doing is having to undo everything when you change bike so I might just get a second uh, fixing bracket but I have to put it back in it goes over the top and then with a bit of a stretch it reaches the bottom so it's tight but it, it, I guess it has to so in order to stop it uh, flipping off the top so once it's screwed back on the nice thing is it holds a little foot holder in place and it stops the, the top coming off so you know it's, I mean you can force it off but it, it's a solid hold up there and then uh, yeah that's just uh, like most other kind of pumps or attachment points for the bottom you don't, you don't need any of this stuff you just put this one between your bottle cage and the tube and uh, the screw just straight through it and then Touch this so it actually clicks on as you can hear so it stays on without so the, the bird was only there to to ensure that it definitely doesn't come off um, and it's loose so you can pick the side that's easiest i mean you might not want to have it on youtube you might just want to throw it into your bag because sometimes although it's it's quite narrow and stuff and sitting on your tube you know your leg might hit it so it's that's a preference thing i like having it on my tube i usually put it back the way up, up right back the way so that it's away from my legs and it just means I've got more space in my bag but it's trial and error really or preference and I know some of my friend mates they just put it in their bag and not worry about it but they know where it is and they keep the bike clean of bits to catch and also like rocks or branches and you know it's gotten it's something that sticks out a little bit or even branches can catch it so um yeah preference so so far so good i quite like it it's it's not well it's quite compact and uh hopefully uh this review helped you and uh, i'll review it again once i've used it a few times and see how it goes but so far so good um it's just the first impression why uh, i ordered it because i needed something that is easy to pump up high pressure and also i wanted a foot pump rather than just one of these small ones that i had before yeah, remember to check out the other videos and uh, subscribe if you if you like them and I'll, I'll keep reviewing the stuff I use um, so yeah hopefully it was helpful and thanks for watching